good morning students how are you i hope that you all are fine in this pandemic situations today we are going to learn about the adaptations in different ecosystems what are the ecosystems do you know we find there are different ecosystems in the land they are land ecosystem and water ecosystem also and also we studied in the previous classes differences between the land ecosystem and water ecosystem class 6 we are already learned about the habitat what is the habitat the definition of the habitat is the dwelling place for plants and animals is called the habitat there are different living and non living things in one habitat what is the ecosystem a ecosystem is the community or a group of living organism that can live in and interact with the each and other in the specific environment these are the two definitions of the habitat and ecosystems today we are going to detailed studies of the different ecosystems and their adaptations in the different ecosystems and today we are in this chapter or in this topic we will see how the organisms have started inhabiting certain areas and what needs they have to survive and how they are acquired different conditions from the surroundings they need them and to adjust themselves to that means to adjust themselves to diverse and distinct changes in the ecosystems the organisms have to adopt different means for the better environment today i am showing the different ecosystems and different adaptations in the different ecosystems to understand the ecosystems and adaptations in the different plants or animals we conduct the two activities first activity we take the kalabanda that means the scientific name is aloe vera and canada balsam plant and and put it in the two separate pots and water pour the water and each of them to tea spoons of water like this we should pour these two pots two plants in two or three days after two or three days we should off the pour the water don't water them for a week and after we conduct this experiment we observe the activity what we are observing which plant grow fastly and which plant dry first and why else dry first and why can you can you observe this activity what what we are observing this in this activity we should write in our notebook and also after the activity one we should conduct the another activity for the identification or to observation of the different plants their adaptations the second second activity is to collect the aquatic plant which are in on our surroundings or lakes or ponds that means we are collect the hydrilla or valisneria plants and or either floating of the surface of the proper propering in out of e the second activities what is the second activity to collect the aquatic plant out of water what is the aquatic plants valisneria or hydrilla and these we are collect the aquatic plant and carry it back home and plants it in it pot or water whatever 
it may be after we fought in the land or different places of these aquatic plants we are observed in this activity what we are observing and what do you observe and comparisons of observation with your activity 1 and activity 2 and also write the what you are observing write in your notes on what you are observe and what you are find also in the difference of activity 1 and activity 2 from the above activity we see that what we see some plants dry without water very quickly okay are you observe this why other can can grow even a very little of water that means each of these plants are adapting to the conditions in their surroundings on the basis of their needs of water this is the one of the examples what we are observing the activity 1 and activity 2 also so that me here once again i am uh, clarify the ecosystems and adaptations that means organisms in the nature to adaptable situations in surroundings them on the basis of their needs and also they also adapt to the situations in the specific situations also we see the so many plants and animals for their adaptations in the different situations first of all we see the plants in the adaptations in the different ecosystems here i will show the the mangrove plants do you know mangroves yes mangroves do you know mangroves like avicennia have the evolved the curious way to and deal with their problems of growing wet and salty places in india we have seen in the different areas in the different places in the mangrove forest they have evolved what is the the specific or their importance of the adaptations means they have the they evolve to save their curious looking projections from their roots called the nematophores or knees in mangrove forest or mangrove trees these knees called another name another term or another name is aerial roots these roots are the knees developed from the lateral roots that are growing growing near of their surface and produced up to 12 inches out of soil or sediment the process functions of these knees is not definite, definitely known but the there is the general there is general agreement that they did a plants the maintain the advocate of root respiration in the water water watery environment watery environment this is the the specific functions of the aerial roots in the mangrove forest trees so this is the specific adaptations of the mangrove trees so can you observe and can you identify the the structure in the uh, another land plants which grow in surroundings surroundings us no we can never see this type of area roots in, the, in our surroundings plants or surrounding trees this is the specific adaptations of the mangrove forest and mangrove trees which are grown in the uh, particular ecosystem okay in such ways that means that each organisms the adaptations of organisms to adapt their develop or over the certain period of time of different conditions 
for the better survival of the adaptations of organisms and also we may also that the adaptations is the future that of the each organisms for their survival okay and also i will show the different aquatic plants and different ecosystem of different plants or animals i will give the another example open shell this is the xerophytes and also desert plant the in open shell we clearly observed the leaves are reduced to spines what is the these specific adaptations that means the these spines to reduce the transpirations to lose their lost the water so that they stored in the little bit of water in their tissues of stems these xerophytes are open shell plants stems we are called also succulent stems the help of the plant will to live in the conditions of water scarcity as well as well as we come across deserts so at the here we see the another plant that is the aloe vera what we are called in alabanda kalbanda sorry kalbanda also in aloe vera we are also called in commonly in kalbanda we found in the our surroundings in these days in these days we have the heard about they are generally called the desert plants or xerophytes so aloe vera have the a succulent plant the stems are succulent stems they in the aloe vera the water in the store in their stems for the to adaptation for the water transpiration so this is the i will give the two examples of the plants one is the aquatic plants and another is the desert plant dear students can you give the some examples of 
different adaptations in your surroundings areas in the different plants or animals can you observe in the any adaptations in specific plants or animals in our in our surroundings at home so why the in the conclusion that we will give us some conclusion the xerophyte plants do not have the broad leaves why they they need the a little bit of water they have the some adaptations also here we give the another examples opuntia cactus or some these are plants do you know the another plants desert plants the bombaba tree this is also desert plant we see in the north america and south america in certain places in this bombaba tree is trunk is fallen we are clearly observed in the trunk is fallen why do you think this con this contains the trunk is fallen it stores the water in its trunks and survive the scorching heat of dry and different seasons this is the special adaptations of these trees bombaba tree or cactus also and also i will give the another examples of some plants which are they contain the adaptations for their survival the another example is living stones actually they they are not stones they are they are they are plants the swal it is living stones they are not really stones the swal and leaves are adapted to the desert conditions okay and also they are minimizing the water of water loss and storing the water these are also called the pebble plants also each pebble is actually we clearly observe that each pebble is a leaf with a they cut window and that leads to lets in the light the stones like appearance what is the adaptations of these stones like these stones like appearance these appearance deceives the animals and to save it from the begin eater this is the special and specific adaptations of the desert trees exam i will give the this is the another example living stones or pebble plant not only deserts not only aquatic not only mangrove trees nowadays we see the many xerophytes in our surroundings grown as the ornamental plants in the pots at the homes some plants have whole seems to be flowers some with thorns can you give them examples which trees contain the thorns in our surroundings yes rose and so many plants we have the they have the thorns these thorns they have the flowers with the bright color petals also nowadays these kinds of the plants are used in the gifts of birthdays and other occasions also now i will show the i will show the one video also different xerophyte plants as you can see and also here there are many xerophytes that home. are grown in the ornament plants in the pots at homes some plants as a whole see seems to be the flowers some with thorns some have flowers with bright color patterns nowadays these kinds of plants are used as a gift for the birthdays and other occasions also
students are you observe the all these xerophytes plants which are put in the different pots in our at home or nurseries i will ask you one questions only adaptation occur in the plants only in the plants there is any adaptations in the animals yes so many adaptations in the animals in the different ecosystems and different situations and different conditions also here i will give the small example do you know camel yes camel have the hump do you know what is the the specific adaptation of this hump this hump is stores for the fat for the later use and also the the camel have long eyes eyelashes what is the what is the use of these long eyelashes for the this camel it is helps to the camel to protects the eyes from the sand do you know forest sorry we do you know desert have the so many sand storms these sand to protect the sand storms the eyelashes to help the camel and also camel have the drostes what is the adaptations and what is the importance of the these nostrils the nostrils close the voluntary to protect from the blowing sand and also camel have the long legs we are already seen the different types of uh, different areas in camels nowadays this camels comes from the in our surroundings also what is the long legs helps to this camel these long legs keeps the body away, away from the hot ground hot of the ground this is the i will give the a small example of the one of the desert animal like camel in national geographic channels and other channel another animal plants we observe the so many aquatic plants and ocean animals and different organisms students i will give the another examples of different uh, living organisms different animals also do you observe in the poles area or snowy areas in this snowy area the animals they have the the they have the specific adaptations can you observe in the can you observe they have the long heads and the, their body completely covered with the a long heads why these and do you do you compare in the our land animals are the snow areas animals the snow areas animals they have contain the long hairs because these long hairs protect from the animals their body uh, from the snow or cold conditions okay students today we are this uh, we are learning about the small things what is the adaptations in the different ecosystems and what is the need of adaptations and what type of animals they have the adaptations for their surviving in, surviving in different conditions all this information we learned in different ecosystems and their adaptations and their surrounding areas also tomorrow i will explain and i will show the the another more importance of the adaptations in the different ecosystems and their different conditions also okay students bye thank you